What's up, Internet? Corey Zamir here. Back with a random ass pickup video, I guess. Uh, a lot of this stuff is from Alicia. She's been asking people from work if they have any old video games they're looking to get rid of, and they've been pretty much, I'm assuming, just giving them to her. Um, there's also going to be a few random thrift store finds, two eBay purchases, and my pickups from Target the other day. Let's go. I guess first up, I'll start with these PlayStation games that she got from someone at work. Uh, this one's actually a double, Omega Boost. I might actually have to check and see. This one might be in better condition than the one I already have. Oddworld, Abe's Exodus, which I had for a little while, but I think I traded away. And it actually comes with a bonus disc. Um, Mega Man Legends, disc only, but in really nice condition. I have to see if I can get a case and manual for that. Next game is Mass Effect, the original. I had this back when it first came out, and I think I got stuck on some part of it. I don't know, I stopped playing it for some reason, even though I was enjoying it quite a bit. Although, given where the series ended up, with the third game having like a really controversially shitty ending, I'm kind of happy I didn't invest too much time into it. Next we have some Xbox games. We got Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy, which I don't believe I have. I might have it, I'll have to check. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. And I always have to check that I'm saying the right name because they have that new MMO, um, The Old Republic. So I feel like I'm gonna mess it up. And that one's also complete and in nice shape. I think I have this, but I'm gonna have to check to see which one's in better condition. I'm a lucky guy. Um, next up, we actually have Greatest Hits uh, Kingdom Hearts complete. And that's actually, if you just watched this last weekend adventure, that makes two Greatest Hits copies in the last like week. And rounding out, we have two GameCube titles make that four GameCube titles because there's some disc only games in here. We got Nickelodeon Blast Party, which I don't know anything about. I'm assuming it's kind of like a Nickelodeon version of Mario Party, in which case it might be interesting. And it also comes with Need for Speed Underground 2 and Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. And of course the game itself is complete. And by far, I think this one at least, she told me she got this at the Savers by her house. And <laughs> this is probably one of the better thrift store finds I've seen this year in Connecticut. Uh, Aside from Sam getting that Chrono Trigger complete. We got Eternal Darkness complete and in really nice shape. Uh, Sam had this game at his booth a little while ago, but it was missing the manual so I didn't pick it up. Very happy to have this now. I might be trying this out with Alicia since it's a little bit of a scary game. Might need someone to hold my hand. Next up, I have to give a shout out to my friend Ken, who's been going to thrift stores. He's the reason I have that watermelon N64. Uh, he gave me another heads up that one of the savers that he went to had some NES and Super Nintendo games. And now that I think about it, I forgot to thank him like via text, but thank you, Ken. I, I did end up picking up two games for $10 total. It's a pretty good deal. Got Donkey Kong Country. As you can see, I still have the stickers on them. And Super Mario 3. Or Super Mario Bros. 3. How do I fuck that title up? Am I a retard? Uh, next up, I have two complete in box eBay purchases. One of which I regretted for a second. And that is the Super Mario Land. Now, if I get the glare figured out here. Actually, one second. Jump cut. <sighs> I'm back. As you saw, once again, in this last week in Adventure Video Game Hunting, I did pick up the box and manual from Sam when it just came in. So, I now have two. And at first, when I, was, when I got this in the mail, I was actually regretful that I picked it up. But then I noticed 
The one I purchased on eBay is in a different language. This is in like German. Commit Mario in Ina Welt Salsama Fableweizen, which translates to join Mario in a world of strange creatures. So that's kind of interesting. I'm probably going to hold on to it because it's, a, I guess, a variant. And besides from that, it's kind of the same. I, I first noticed it because it had some little German text over here on the front. And then I looked at the back and I was just like, holy shit, this is all German. So this one actually I think is just box and manual also. So I don't have the German version of the game, but it's still going to look cool on my shelf having two copies of these, English and German. And the other game I picked up online, I actually had to piece this together, bought the game for I think $5 after shipping, and the box and manual for $7 after shipping, so I paid about like $13 for this. Or I don't know math. <laughs> uh, but it's Bomberman. And this is the Bomberman from NES, which I've actually never played, so I'm excited to try it out. And my last two pickups, these both came from Target, and I was actually going to try the, uh, what is it, day one buy uh, tip of the day or whatever that Craigslist Game Find put up about Call of Duty Ghosts, but the PlayStation 4 version, at least from what I was looking at, is the most expensive one on Amazon. So if you haven't seen that, I'll leave a link to their video in the description. Uh, I don't know if you could still do it by the time you see this, but you can price match Amazon uh, for Call of Duty Ghosts and use the pre-order card for Destiny or the next Call of Duty for a dollar to get $20 off of Call of Duty Ghosts on any system. And I was going to do it, but they were going to send me up to customer service to see if they even would allow it. And it was just like, that was more effort, especially since it would have ended up being like $12 to get the game. For a game I don't really care about anymore. I'm not really that into Call of Duty anymore. It used to be my main game back before I started collecting, to be honest. But I did pick up a few other games. One of them I'm extremely happy with. The other one <laughs> is Spectrobes. I got this for $5 on clearance. It is complete, and it's actually, it actually has everything in there. And just like that uh, copy of Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars is like bursting at the seams just with all the shit they have in there. Uh, definitely one of my favorite games that I've played this year. Minecraft on the PlayStation 3. Alicia and I are fucking addicted to this game. It's very difficult to not do it now, but we have a world together trying to not play the world without her but I might mine some supplies so when we are together we could at least just do like building onto our castle and probably get some more videos up for you about Minecraft on the PlayStation 3 as you can see um, if you've subscribed which you should I did post up a video on Tuesday I don't know when I'm putting this one up but on Tuesday I posted up a video about encountering the Enderman inside my own goddamn castle. I'm also going to be doing a question and answer video for this weekend. So on any of these videos, because I'll end up seeing them, or any of the videos this week, I should say, leave a comment down below asking me whatever the fuck you want. It doesn't even have to be about video games. It could be about life. I don't know. Movies. Other geeky shit. Why I give a thumbs up at the end of the videos. Like, comment, subscribe, and as always, keep it real, internet.